Good afternoon and welcome to this Still Ahead webinar. Uh, today we're talking about Pitark, a uh, sister company of Pitini Group. Uh, what about Still Ahead? Still Ahead is a um, direct line with, uh, within our sales network and our customer. It's a website where you can find all the webinar that we are holding, like this one, uh, future events in virtual mode, of course, uh, due to the period. And you can subscribe to the, our newsletter to be updated to the old news about the group. I will also remind you that uh, there is a, a, a chat, a live chat. So if you have any question, uh, any topic that uh, is interesting you about uh, today webinar, you can write it down and I will put all the questions at the end to the today's speakers. That is uh, David Defant, uh, sales uh, working in the sales department of Peter, and is talking about uh, Green Arc Innovarc, a uh, sustainable wedding, wedding wire. I will welcome him and I will ask him uh, just with a question uh, if he can give us an um, introduction about Peter and um, which kind of uh, product uh, Peter uh, manufacture. Hello, Flavio, and uh, welcome to all the people who will uh, attend this, this webinar. Well, first of all, we have to say that Pitark is the welding wire brand produced by Seat Company since 1972. Pitark definitely is an historic company of the Pittini Group and uh, has about 80 employees that, working, that work in the welding division and as a turnover of some 50 million euro per year. The production of about 30,000 tons of wire mm -hmm. consumables of the welding sector. In Gemona del Friuli facility, we produce gas shielded and submerged arc welding wires, which are the result of a production cycle that is controlled very carefully throughout all its phases from the steel mill to the finished product. Okay, next slide. Perfect. So, um, Flavio, now maybe we have the possibility, the chance to focus a bit more in Peter Welding Wire Division. And the first question to ask ourselves is exactly which welding wire does Peter produce and for which welding process? So let's let's have a look to to the to the slide that refers to Uni and ISO uh, 4063 standard. Okay, perfect. That classifies all welding processes. In particular, let's focus on part one that refers to arc welding processes. So exactly, Pitark has been manufacturing for more than 40 years, since 1972, we have, uh, 72, we have just told it. The manufacturers submerge arc welding wires, so welding processes uh, 121 and 123, as you can see in the slide, and gas shielded metal arc welding wires. Welding process 131, uh, that refers to MIG, so metal inert gas, and 135 MAG, that means metal uh, active gas. Uh, this process is called gas metal arc welding if you refer to AWS standard. So just to, to, to clarify to all the viewers, uh, at the moment Peter no, doesn't produce neither electrodes nor TIG rods or flux code welding wire, but just submerged arc welding wires and MIG mag welding wires. Why exactly? Because uh, our steel mill plant located in Zocco, so Ferriere North Company, produces several grades of wire road, included the steel grades to these welding processes, so to, uh, uh, to MIG-MAG process and submerged arc welding process. 
if you have just a quick look to this slide, we can we can see uh, our main products. So a typical B300 spool of nick mag wire, a drum of submersive welding wire, the copper free wire, the Innovarc wire, we'll speak later about it, and the fluxes that can provide it together the, the, the submerged arc welding wires. Okay, so following question is um, which which type, which welding wires are produced in pit dark and for which kind of steel plates? Well, first of all, we have to say that basically pit dark produces wires, welding wires for low steel and low alloy plates. The, this, the, the chart in the, this slide describes the main families of steel plates, excluded stainless steel, excluded inox steel. So you can say that nowadays, now, Peter can produce a wide range of MIG MAG welding wires. So let's start briefly to explain uh, which are these steel grades, which are these uh, trade names for our wires. Let's start with low carbon or, or so-called carbon manganese plates, such as S235, S355, S420. So our trade names well to join these, these plates are Peter G3, Peter G6, and Peter G9. These are wire, um, as I told, you uh, to weld low carbon plates and uh, basically g3 is the most poor of them while g9 is uh, is uh, is the one that can reach even high features even 500 megapascal on all weld metal and more than 47 july at minus 50 degrees with a typical M21 gas. Let's proceed. Uh, having a look to this, to this chart, we, we can produce a, a dedicated wire to, to weld the fine grain structural steel. And we can produce even the, the a wire to weld the so-called cotton plates, so the structural steel with improved atmospheric corrosion resistance. Let's pass to the to the to the to the following group, the so-called quenched high yield strength structural steel. These are still with high mechanical properties with high impact test, and they are called nickel chromium molybdenum steels. They are usually uh, provided. The plates are provided in the quenched, uh, in, in, in quenched way. So the, this, this, uh, these plates are very used in mining sector. So Peter, to join these plates, produces dedicated big mag wires that says GTH, GTA, and GT2, with yield strength, respectively, at least 620 megapascal. 690 megapascal and 890 megapascal with typical M21 gas, so 80-20 gas. Um, let's have a, let's have a, a brief uh, look to the um, to the to the last groups of steels of plates. So at the moment, Peter can provide uh, wires to, to weld chromium, molybdenum, and vanadium steel that are the Creep resistant steel. Uh, they are they are they are named this way, and they are used mainly in press vessels sector. At the moment, we can provide a wire called GMO with 0.5 molybdenum, G9MO with 0.5 molybdenum, and the high manganese rate, and a wire called G chromium one molybdenum with 1.5% chromium plus molybdenum. Uh, passing very quickly to the, to the last group of steel plates, uh, the so-called nickel steels with nickel from 1 to 5%. 
uh, at the moment in our range, we just have uh, one thin grade, one wire that is called G3NI1 with 1% one nickel to, to weld to join these type of plates. This type of plate, yeah. So, speaking about the quality and the quality standard of our of our company, of our facility, that product, we have to say that Italian products are really subject to strict checks of chemical, mechanical, and technological properties. All the wires have a CE mark, and furthermore, all the wires have the most important approvals from the main certification bodies, such as the so-called RINA, that is Registro Italiano Navale, American Bureau of Shipping, Bureau Veritas, that Norske Veritas plus Germanische Lloyds that have been recently founded, DB Lloyds Register, and TUV. Thank you very much for this uh, quite uh, mm -hmm. comprehensive explanation about Peter range of products. But uh, I will focus uh, on being a part of steel making group. So can you explain us the advantages of this partnership? Yeah. Well, uh, for Peter being part of a huge group like Pitini group have really a lot of the advantages. The main points are definitely integration and verticalization. First of all, the synergy with other companies belonging to Pitini Group helped us to develop technology and plants of latest generation. So for this reason, we can supply high quality products that can meet the market demanding also in more complex and challenging applications. The, the hot and cold production units of Pitini Group, just the full, like the logistics services and an integrated sales network are definitely a significant strength which allow Pitar to operate over the world against our traditional Italian competitors and against the biggest international welding companies. And on the other hand, Following the group's strategic approach based on the vertical integration of the wire road, the production process is constantly controlled, constantly checked in every single manufacturing stage. From the production of the raw material, that for Peter is 5.5 while the wire road, to the realization of the finished product. And then, don't forget the fact that the um, this modern control system is also guaranteed by the efficient by the by the very well work of the internal laboratories here at the company and Peter division as well and by the Pitini laboratory okay so thanks for uh, for this explanation but let's go to the topic of today um you mentioned uh, innovar <coughs> Uh, can you give us an explanation about this uh, this product? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so let's start uh, with the um, with the nowadays situation in the welded market. The welded market is more and more demanding, and company and end users continuously ask for consistent consumables in all welding process in order to reduce downtime in the production, downtime in the production process. And in the, in the last years, new welding equipment and new welding programs, for example, while well, starting from Ulst Arc to CMT, STT, and several com comparable to, to, to this one. So all these new welding products focus on high productivity and basically can work just with the uh, with wires, with transmobiles that has to have perfect geometry, perfect surface, perfect decoiling, and very good feedability. So Peter uh, 
Peter decided some years ago to, to focus on the surface treatment of their welding wires. And we tried to produce a high quality copper wires, called it Innovarc. And the results um, and the result of this copper wire has been, I can say, outstanding after after some years of the launch uh, of this of this wire, this new type of wire. And um, let me say, Flavio, that uh, if you remember, or maybe or maybe you enjoyed it, one year ago we dedicated to it to 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 Innovarc copper wires a webinar presented by by Mr. Fausto Farabosco, that is our responsible of sales department in Pitark. And this webinar is still available on YouTube and on steelaa.it, that is the dedicated uh, website for, uh, for PT. Let, let's explain uh, exactly in what consists this Innovarc treatment. Basically, it's an extra Keying line cleaning of the wire after the reduction process after after the reduction process of the wire to remove residuals on it and there is a chemical addition in order to make the fitability and the arc stability better so to make it to make it better to to increase the fitability and the arc stability. This, uh, this process has been implemented by our technicians, by our quality staff, by our research uh, people, research and development people that work together a chemical company specialized in additives or cold growing process. Okay, so um, you, you talk uh, only about copper wires. But why did you focus on that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, uh, let's do a step back. So far, we are spoken about copper coated wires, and all the viewers, all the auditors of this webinar know that mostly welding wires for MIG MAC process and for submerged arc welding process as well are copper coated. But let's ask ourselves why, exactly why, which are the reasons. We can say that copper is very helpful in, in lots of aspects. First of all, and very important, is a lubricant. And um, in the second step of cold drawing, increase the production speed. So increase the speed of the production process. Then copper, proves the wire resistance to, to oxidation, that is very important as well. And thirdly, uh, copper helps a bit, just a bit, the passage of current during the welding process. But, well, these are the, the positive asp aspects of copper, but we know, on the other hand, that copper is harmful, is dangerous. The weld pool and uh, very important, it's dangerous for the welders and the welding operators because copper strongly affects the weight and the composition of welding fumes. And well, we will we'll see later, there will be a, a very, a very important slide on it. Uh, even in significant percentages of copper in the wire surface, increase the quantity of welding fumes. So basically when we, we started this project, this, this project to, to, to implement, to create a green arc in arc wire, uh, our target was to produce a copper free wire as good as copper coated in arc, speaking about fitability, speaking about arc stability, arc stability, etc but with no copper in the surface. Okay, so uh, if I understand well, you want to mix the green arc uh, wires with the Innovarc technology. So with this uh, 
uh, how do you go from this theoretical part to a practical application? Which are the phases that you follow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think I think uh, we understand together that today in Peter we produce four main products regarding uh, MIGMAG wire, MIGMAG division. And so these four main products are standard copper coated wire, Innovarc copper coated wire, green arc, standard green arc wire, and the, the, the recently born green arc with Innovarc special treatment. So basically, Peter decided to compare these four main products of the MIGMAG division, and we decided to focus on G6 wire, that is the, the most common wire to weld low carbon steels, as we, as we saw before. So um, very, very simply, we took one spool each product from the facility, from the production process, and we checked a series of parameters with the help of our internal group laboratories, both Peter and Siat and Sriyanot, and with the help of Italian Institute of Welding. Okay, so uh, which kind of parameters do you, you have tested? Okay. Well, to evaluate and compare the different wires, we took into account uh, these six parameters. So starting, uh, let's start from the, from the first one, Flavio, if you agree. So yeah. the chemical and geometric analysis. Speaking about wire chemistry, as we might have expected, there are no significant differences in the four wires. Why? Because it's important to underline that Peter starts from wire road with low impurities and with low gas content. And so raw material is very constant in terms of chemical, in terms of mechanical point of view. And this is definitely a great help both during production and during welding process. Uh, for example, well, I think you know if you if you if you are using Peter wires, it can be noted that the values in these steel grade in G6 wires, the values of carbon, manganese, and silicium are very similar on different on different heats on different batches. And uh, speaking about geometry, while well, the wire complies all the wires, all these samples, all these pools comply with internal PTAC operational practices. So let's move to the second aspect. Um, we analyzed the surface of the wires of these four type of different wires using a microscope, same microscope owned by our mother company by Fairnort. And um, we performed a lot of dozens of maps. Uh, well, we have no time to see all to see all of them. Let's focus in this slide on three dimension three dimension map of the two copper free wires. So the, the 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 one on the left is standard green arc wire, and the one on the right it's this green arc in of arc wire. Well, I think, I think it's clear uh, that the surface of the one treated with the in of arc process is smoother, smoother. Well, yeah, I think it's quite obvious. And these, the surface of the wire, positively affect the welding performance, the welding performance, the welding process. Okay, let's go to the third aspect, so-called, well, we called it tests on welded specimens. Well, we have to say that the tensile test and the impact test are the typical checks, are the typical tests that are made on the consumables for MIG mark welding. So on the left, we can, uh, we can see a typical joint design to perform the test. The weld joint 
as you can see, the bat welding, who shaped, so the preparation is who shaped, the welding position is PA, so flat, and on these beads, several well, well, several weld beads are performed. Then specimens with different dimension uh, are extracted from the old weld metal to carry out the tensile test and the impact test. As uh, expected, um, there, has, there has been no significant differences in the four welded specimens. And, um, and the target to comply with our classification following EN uh, 40,341 uh, ISO were always achieved. What does it mean? That means that chemistry of the wire, so the chemistry of the raw material, the production process and the operativity, the welding tests have been were excellent. <clears throat> So let's move on. Fabio, if you agree. Okay. Yeah. So, so uh, let's focus on this slide. As you can see, feedability tests uh, means how is the, feel the feedability of the wire, of the welding wire, in the welding process. So let's describe very quickly this slide. Uh, we have uh, several detection points, two of them regards the wire speed, checked into the feeder rollers, see to the left, on the left, and the second one, uh, the wire speed is measured before the contact T. Then we check the friction of the wire into the, into the welding system, into the welding, to the welding machine, my machine, and this is uh, uh, called F, the force, the friction, and is uh, measured in Newton. And then, very important, there is a value of voltages loss in the contact T. So basically, we compare the voltages in the generator, in the welding generation, and uh, the voltage the, in the contact T. So, um, well, well, we have noticed from these from these uh, from these tests. Uh, well, um, we performed the tests following the N ISO uh, fourteen thousand three hundred forty one standard chapter five point two, and if, and we performed the test in normal welding conditions. So basically, two hundred eighty amperages, twenty eight approximately twenty eight volts and in extreme conditions so 350 amperages and uh, 32 33 volts speaking about green in green arc in a bar, that is the that is the, the the priority in this presentation uh, this wire in buff tests so at high and at very high and in extreme conditions there has been an excellent feasibility and the low friction during the test period, even with high, with the very high uh, electric parameters, so with very high amperage and voltage, these these results are better, definitely better than standard green arc wire, and comparable with comparable to Novark copper wire, and. Um, the voltage difference as well between the nozzle and the welding machine is very low and constant. Always thanks the fact that the surface of the wire is clean and very smooth. And uh, well, let's let's have a look to this picture as well. You can see on the on the left the a welding seam um, welded with standard green arc, and on the right. A welding seam welded with green arc in of arc. Well, I think that it's uh, it's clear the difference between the between the two the two welding seams. And 
We can say that a clean wire strongly affects the wild beat, the wild scene, both in single pass and especially on multi-pass wilds. So I would uh, I would proceed with the last uh, with the last parameter. Okay, perfect fume analysis. The last but not the less important. Uh, well, we can say that there is there is a table in this this uh, this this slide. Uh, first of all, we have to say that the fume analysis was performed according to N ISO fifteen thousand eleven standard, and uh, as you can see from the table, tests was done buff in a short arc, so some 180 amperages, and in spray arc, uh, so some 280-300 amperages. And uh, the welding test lasted about some 30 seconds. So from the table, we see it's obvious, it's clear that the weight of the smokes strongly influenced by the presence of copper up to 40 percent in fact if you if you define x and y the um, the the results of the weight of the fumes with g6 standard copper coated the fumes released uh, with the green arc in arc uh, wire are 30% less in short arc and even 40% less in spray arc process. So the differences are really, really very important. Well, then uh, I think uh, due to time problems, we haven't reported in this presentation the other results we have collected uh, in the fume analysis, but take into consideration that the the, the release of the fumes in percentage of manganese and copper is much higher compared to the chemistry of the welding. It's basically, it's more or less a double. And that these fumes are really dangerous for the health of the welders and of the welding operators. So don't okay. don't don't underestimate this parameter. Uh, if we have to compare the copper, generally speaking, the copper wires and the copper free wires. Okay, seems a very good result about the green Innovarc wire, uh, both in uh, environmental. Uh, speaking aspects and uh, also in performances. Uh, uh, I have a last question. Um, from my side, then I will invite everyone to use uh, the live chat again to put any question about this topic, today's topic, uh, or in general about Pitark, uh, if you're interested in something. Uh, so, uh, can you give us a an, an, an quick overview, uh, um, summarization about why use, uh, why choose in Green and Innovarc instead of other solution? Uh, well, as you perfect report it uh, we can see that uh, this slide the last slide wants to summarize what has what has been said so far and wants to compare the four wires uh, according the according to the tests performed in the laboratory and on a series of parameters import from for end users so all wild metal results, welding seam aspect, arc stability, and so on. Let's start with, with the first parameter. Well, we have uh, reported that the mechanical and impact test are excellent on all, well, on all uh, the, the wire tests. So five plus for, 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 every, for every welding wire. Uh, speaking about welding seam, so second aspect, second parameter, uh, we can say that is excellent with Innovarc wires, buff copper and uh, copper free. 
And this is given basically by the better cleaning of these wires compared to the standard uh, to the standard wires that anyway remain of uh, are anyway of a good level. The other two parameters, so arc stability and contractive consumption, uh, are also related to the to the very good quality of the Innovarc wires compared to the standard ones. Just to be to be very 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 sincere and frank, it's important to point out that uh, for the green arc Innovarc, uh, we are still in a, in a the initial phase, uh, so we cannot say exactly. You can say that uh, we we put evaluating into into the column that refers to the contract tips consumption and production downtime. Why? Because uh, we are we are in this. We have just started the tests, so we have not a, a long story uh, behind us. But we are anyway. We are confident that the long-term customer feedback confirms our our idea, our certainties about the efficiency of this green arc in work. Well, and uh, speaking about the quality of the welding fumes, we have just uh, related about it. It's clear that free copper coating improves the situation. Uh, improve the situation. Speaking about welding fumes. And uh, all of us knows that safety and health rules welding, welding sector will become more and more strictly in the future. So maybe um, the future for the welding consumables is the copper free wires. Okay, so it's a question and answer time. And um... I have a, a, a good question from our social. Um, they asked me um, so that uh, in your presentation, David, you speak about the G6 wire. Uh, this new, uh, um, say, products, uh, Green Arc, Innovarc, is only about G6 or is it possible to have it uh, to other kind of wires? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is an interesting question. Uh, well, I would say that at the moment, as I tried to explain before, PTAC produces really several steel grades, some 10, 12 steel grades. And uh, the, the green arc in Novark, but the, the, the copper in Novark uh, surface treatment can, uh, can be performed on all the steel grades. So starting from the, the most common, the G6, that is the the wire we have just analyzed to the annealed wire. So, for example, our GTH, GTA, or GT2. Mm -hmm. And definitely, uh, this uh, this surface treatment can be can be can be used both in pools and in drums and in metal bobbins and and so on. Okay. So really we are very, very open to. To, to comply with customer specification about, about uh, the, the type of wire they want to use with this new uh, green arc in uh, surface treatment. Okay, okay. So, very good. Uh, since now, uh, I see a good participation on that. Um, I will uh, thank everyone to, to listen to us. We, uh, we go a little bit longer today with our webinar, but it's not uh, a problem because I see that all of you were still connected till the end. I will uh, remind you that next week we will do the same thing in Italian. So if you want to train your Italian, we are here <laughs> and, and talking about this topic, me and Davide. And uh, continue to follow the steelhead.it uh, website to be updated about our news. And uh, thank you very much to Davide for today, for this uh, interesting presentation, interesting topic. Uh, yeah, welcome. Yeah, welcome, Flavio. Thanks for your very, very, very new, new products and new things uh, on the market. Okay. So see you next uh, week. Ciao, Davide. Bye. See you. Bye-bye. Have a nice day. Ciao.